Okay, being a, being a black here, folks, and we're showing you the close flybys of objects uh, to Earth here. Uh, these are today, the 19th. Uh, I believe this is the one I'll just stay on as the 547, or I might even go to the latest one. But anyway, here are far away shots that I can show you that don't, you'd have to really blow up to get the satellite. Uh, I can't disclose the satellites, but there's a comet asteroid whatever coming by there's another comet asteroid whatever coming by now this is a tetrahedron or object in space that is probably part of alanin this is the asteroid belt that basically stays stationary that we've seen part of and i mean just a small part of the asteroid belt everybody was being a smart ass and saying well how come it's just sitting still it stays still it's an asteroid belt nasa lied to you ladies and gentlemen it is there all right now, this is a photo, so I can't go up and down. But this is asteroid belt, ladies and gentlemen. Asteroid belt. We have two asteroid belts around us right now. Okay, for sure. There could even be more than that. But you can clearly see from these satellite shots that are from way out in space that zoom in and keep an eye on Earth. Okay, and these are the asteroid belts that are around Earth. Because these objects that go by are at like one point five something aw you or something like that i'll get to the stats in a minute matter of fact let me bring them up next okay folks i gotta get used to using the square on the screen here thing so i have to move it around as we record here i hope it'll stretch out sometimes i have problems with being able to stretch the screen out fast enough or big enough that see i was showing you a smaller shot early before this is the data on that okay you can see the time okay this is the one later in the day, so I will end up going down to the later one, showing you the most recent one, okay? This will be all the data, and you can break it down. I don't want to get into reading numbers off and getting all tongue-tied, all right? So here's your data, and uh, pay attention to the idea that that's where it came closest to the Earth, is this latitude-longitude, okay? So if you were in that latitude-longitude area, you could look up and see it at that time, okay? Okay, folks, this whole video is going to be a small screen, and I'm just going to have to move it around, but we are in Palau, at Bay, and you can see the time. And the sun is starting to come up. You get the big glow of the supergiants, and also the sun, which will be a smaller object when it comes up. And we'll go back to the satellite shots in a minute, and you'll also see those. So here is one of the parts of the asteroid belt right there, as denoted by the arrow. Okay, folks, so that you trust me, this is all today's date, the 19th. This is all UTC time at down in Palau, down in Antarctica. As you can see, without me blowing up the screen, there are our asteroid belt action, which NASA tells us is nowhere close to Earth, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Yes, it is far away, it's away, ladies and gentlemen. But it's still as close as it's been the, to the Earth for a long time. And there it is from there, 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 and there. And there'll be more. Hang on a minute. So we'll just be spinning through the photos. There it is, and there it is. And it's the same zoomed in photo. Let me change a photo. Okay, folks, this is the image that basically, this is a close flyby of on the 18th, okay? And from a satellite way out in space that watches Earth, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Now, asteroid belt and other objects up here to the right around the Earth. This is all the Earth we're looking at, folks, okay? This is the sun and other supergiant sun objects back a ways, all right? And s also, these are objects in the asteroid belt that is around Earth, okay? This shot is at, like, I believe, uh, well, th this is the 18th. So time and stuff like that, yeah, this was at 7.20 a.m., okay? 7.20 a.m., so as you can see, the sun is coming out from below the earth that was basically be the south pole over here folks okay and this is basically the north pole I uh, know you can't see but I'm gonna drag the picture down there I'm just stuck with what the screen thing does now there we are down below and as you can see the triangulation again and there is the close object that came by of data from the 18th if you can pull it up and I'm not gonna supply all the data in the world you can always go and look up the close passes of the earth today okay and this, I mean, this was on the 18th, okay? So then the, here is either the asteroid belt or the supergiants. And I'm going to show you some film in a second of the shooting of and where the 
close object comes out of either the asteroid belt or the supergiants and basically have they all been lying to us and basically the asteroid belt is the supergiants main sequence folks see all the triangulation there's triangulation down here triangulation everywhere ladies and gentlemen we have triangulation here here with the object triangulation also here and here and you also see the action at Palau so you do see the stuff and the scientists down there are putting this stuff together and who knows I might be helping them put some of this stuff together all right, so sun and the supergiants back there because the sun is in the supergiants and these other st star clusters are way light years behind the sun and so forth, but the sun is in the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen, right there. All right, so these are objects. These are objects from the asteroid belt that we have over us, i.e. the cloud the asteroid belt. Could he even possibly be Alanin right there, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, it sits still. The mo the Earth rotates, and yes, the space lab will move, and a lot of stuff will move. But the asteroid belt, even though it's traveling through space, it looks like it's sitting still because the Earth is rotating. Okay, it's traveling through space, which is vast. The Earth is small. The Nat. All right. All right. You're gonna see this flash here. I will be playing the player down here to the right and below this small screen. I just don't know how to up and down the screen size. I have basically some technical problems that I might have Karasov help me out with or who knows what. Okay, you will see this flash. You will see the close object be squared by our government space and defense program which basically monitors and sees it go by. Okay, this is from today the 19th. Okay, 5.47 a.m. UTC time, okay? So you will see this flash and play, and I'll play it back and forth. Okay. As you saw, folks, here it comes. It flashes, and then you can see the square to the upper right. Basically what will happen is I'll make more than one video. Okay. I'm hitting play, and you are seeing the square, which gets the object going by. I have to make another video, and you will see it square and come around. There you go, you see the video and it'll come around. Alright, here it goes, folks. You'll see it come across. And it'll keep coming across, folks. There will be the square, the object, there it is, it comes up. And you will just I'm just gonna keep hitting play and you'll see it. This is from another satellite, folks, and I block out the satellite so you don't, you know, we keep getting these views. And I'll keep playing this and there you'll see the close object that comes by and I'll show you the data in a minute. This is from five forty seven AM this morning, the nineteenth. The sun is to the left. The sun is to the left, and you can figure out what object that is. The sun is to the left. The sun is to the left. All right, this is Palau again, and you can see the the asteroid belt, which is like NASA lies to us and tells us, "Oh, it's nowhere close to the Earth." And there you go, it's down in Palau Station, and there's your time. And I'll try to just keep it up here in the corner and we'll flap, I'll go through the pictures. I'm giving you pictures here because the screensaver that I'm using, I do have complaints on it because the idea once I try to zoom in on something to try to cut some information out so that the idea that we won't be sharing everything in the world that we're showing you so that we can keep seeing these pictures, it locks in and I can't adjust the size of the screen, which is kind of goofy, but here we go. And this is uh, 2330 UTC on the 18th. Uh, same in the 18th, these, these are all going to be, there's 2340, there's 2350, there's 2355, there is 20, or, oh, that's exactly 010 UTC on the 19th, okay? There is 0020, it's only 20 minutes into UC, UTC on the 19th. So there's the object down there which is basically, I believe, the, the two of Alanin's two major front tetrahydrons, the flopper. I could be wrong on that, but it doesn't really matter. It's part of the asteroid belt. That's right. Alanin is an asteroid belt, not just a comet. Okay, folks, you'll have to blow this up to full-size screen. And basically, what you see, the top two slides, this is a different satellite here. Different satellite there. Okay? And yeah, maybe when you blew it up, blow it up and get it to full screen, you may see what the satellites are, but you need to keep it be underneath your hat so the idea we can keep getting these views. Okay, now, 
these top two slides are 547 three seconds UTC time that's Zulu time on the 19th today okay 2011 okay then these are also all these are going to be the 19th today these next two slides that I've slid down to are from 910 in 27 seconds Zulu time and then we have these at 930 Zulu time now I'm going to go back up to the first one I'm showing you now there is common asteroid material there that goes by common asteroid material that goes by okay in a freeze frame when you go to the movies it'll play fast and you'll see that they'll lock on to the object and yes ladies and gentlemen you're that safe in the United States of America and on the face of the world because the idea of the US Air Force and Navy and all of our they always keep an eye on earth let us know what's going on okay now move down this is the nine o'clock hour ten minutes after 27 seconds another asteroid comet part of the asteroid belt going by which NASA tells us to keep everybody calm that the idea that nothing's going by. All right, it's not in, we're close to Earth. Got to exit something up there. Okay, now bringing it down, we're going to just finish this out going down, looking through the slides. Okay, so we have the triangulation material out there, and you can see the other hour. This is 11 down here, is 11. That's 11 o'clock hour, 12 minutes. Zulu, all this is Zulu time, UTC time, 11 20, 40, and as you can see, we have other comments. And the next video is going to make, I'm going to have a movie, and I'll just play through a lot of the, the movies going through these slides that you're seeing now. Okay? That was 11.12 there on top. Now we have 11.16 down here. These are 11.16. And as you can see, we have another one that will end up being freeze-framed on the next video. All these asteroids and comments will be freeze-framed in the videos on the, on the next video. And as we move down again, we have the 11.33 Zulu hour. And there's another one. There's another one. Okay, now this is the same, but this is two different satellites. This is one satellite, and that's the other satellite. Now, when I shoot the movies on the next movie that I show you of these close materials in the asteroid belt going by, I will try to keep the satellite names out of the way so that we can keep getting these views. Okay, also now, and I'll move over here so you know that, that I'm taping this central standard time right there. Yeah, this is Central Tanner time, this today's date and everything right there in the window. Uh, and here we go up to see that the idea that there's another one. There's another one. This one down here on the very bottom right now is of the 19th. These are all the 19th, this whole movie here pretty much, except for the 18th I showed you on the pictures. This is the 19th at 11.35 Zulu time, 12 seconds on the bottom. This one up here is 11.33 Zulu, 19 minutes. 19 seconds, sorry. So there you go, and there you go. Same object, two different satellites catching it. Sun right there, and the supergiants, as you can see, the other bright ones in the very, very, very back, light years away. But they do put light down to the Earth, folks. We do get solar flares from them. And also, as you've seen on the movie that I showed you earlier, which I will try to get that movie to play in full screen on the next movie, on the next video I make, that the idea that when we showed you this top one, which is 5.47 a.m. the 19th today. The idea, you can see it streaking by there, one satellite shot and this the other satellite shot. You will end up seeing it coming out of the triangulation over here where I'm pointing at. It'll end up coming out of this nodes, out of this asteroid belt. That is an asteroid belt, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I do believe that this is a sun right here, okay? So that would propagate with the idea that this asteroid belt is this possibly the supergiant's main sequence. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is that far away. That is that far away. Either that the sun is shining down on or that this satellite shot is actually that far away from the sun. But it would have to shade the sun in order to get this shot. So the idea that more than likely this satellite is way away and also being able to... So basically this is an asteroid belt. I would presume and assume that the idea that these are asteroid belts, two different ones... Any idea that they're not the supergiant's main sequence, which the supergiant's main sequence is all this material way back up by the sun and behind the sun. All right, and these are close objects that come out of triangulation out of this asteroid belt right here. That material there, that material there, where I'm pointing with the finger, because you will see if you back up this video and also in the next videos to come, you will see that it basically triangulates here, here, and then shoots by triangulation. So disclaimer in a second. 